Jesus came to this earth, died for us, and made everything available to us, the most important of which is the kingdom of heaven, that we can become owners of the kingdom of heaven, that we can have access to the kingdom of heaven. And I pray that all of us will come to that consciousness of walking in the light of God, that we will be in the kingdom of heaven, not in hellfire. Today we are going to read Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. The treasure that is so important to you that you sell everything. The emphasis is in all all that he had, just for the sake of the kingdom of God. What have you given up? You know, some of us, we think we give up. Well, okay, we, as it were, we repent. And a friend of mine used to say that some people faint in the name of repentance. And when they have sufficient due on them, they get back to the former lives. So many of us, we are still living in our former lives. We have even justified some foolishness that, oh, okay, Repentance. Ah, God does not worry about who you are. Grace covers everything, no matter how you live. Some madness. But that man sold everything for the sake of the kingdom of God. That is to say he gave up all. You know, we used to sing the song, I Surrender All. Sometimes it's some momentary thing. For that moment, is emotional for that moment. After that, it's over. I surrender all inside the church during the prayer meeting. As you come out, there is a quarrel with another person. What did you surrender? Your ability to get angry? How many things have you given up on life for the sake of the kingdom of God? Your sexual partners, your lies that you are telling left and right, every inch of the way you drop one lie or the other, you want to justify yourself. The anger that is always there, the bitterness towards others. Some of us cannot be corrected by another person. Whoever tries to correct us, oh, we hate that person. You won't even greet the person again. If you do, you are doing it grudgingly. You feel bad. Somebody said something against you because you want to justify every foolishness of your life. He sold all, everything. What have you given up? Is it? When a man is in Christ, all things have passed away. All things have become new. What is the old thing that passed away in your own life? You told a lie before, old thing. You tell a lie again. What has become new about that lie? A lie is a lie, old or new. You were immoral before, old thing. And you are immoral now, new thing. Your new immorality is the same immorality as the old immorality. Nothing has changed. You didn't give up. The man gave up everything that he had for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. This is a parable that came from Jesus. And you know what it means? He expects you to give up all if you are going to be a participant at the kingdom of heaven. You cannot hold two things in the same hand and climb a tree. That's what our people will say. You have a weight here, you have a weight here, and you are going to climb vertically. It's impossible. You'll be standing like this. How would you stand? You need the hands to hold the tree, at least one hand. But here you are, you have the devil on one hand, and you think you have God on the other hand. It won't work. The two won't mix. You say, and God cannot live with evil. And God does not condone evil. You have to walk away from the path of evil and walk away completely because he said he saw all, not some. Which means if I still have some back, I am not being able to get that treasure. If I'm going to get that treasure, everything is gone. I give up on everything absolutely. Then I'll get that treasure. And we all do need that treasure. You don't need to be told that you need it, the kingdom of heaven. If somebody has to persuade you to go to heaven, then something is wrong. Because that means you are so steeped in hell that you don't see any good. There are some of us who live a life as if everything started and ended in this world. No. There is 
another world to come. There is another kingdom, the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of the devil, which is hellfire. And there is no middle ground. You are either living your life unto God by selling all, or you are living your life unto the devil by allowing some to remain. We have to learn to give up on all evil. And that's not a tough call, because the scripture says we must obey the commandments of God, and it says the commandments of God are not grievous. Have you given up on everything? Or you have given up on some? I am going to pray for today for grace. And you know whom I'm going to pray for that? Because some of us, we struggle to cut away some things, and they still seem to have a stranglehold on us. You know that you have to leave anger, leave lying, and all of those things, you are not able to leave them. One moment you rebuke yourself, the next moment you are doing the same thing. I am not talking about the person who justifies what he's doing. I am talking about the persons who sincerely want to leave those things, and they are still happening. And I'm going to pray now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, some of us struggle with our sins. Some of us struggle with our faults. We know what is good. As the scripture says, the good that I would want to do, I am not doing. The evil that I don't want to do, that's what I find myself doing. Father, for all such persons who desire to do good, may the grace and the empowerment come upon them now in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that is too powerful, so powerful that we cannot break forth from, Father, from today, I condemn that power and I rebuke that power from every life. That everyone that desires to live unto you, who find grace, ability, and willingness to do it all the time and actually be able to live unto you in all areas and aspects of life that the kingdom of God will be available and achievable and actually achieved in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.